Real estate is such an opportunity right now. Uh, there are so many reasons why real estate and investing in real estate makes sense. So personally, I'm going to share with you what I've been doing and where I see this market going. So first and foremost, if you already own properties, I think it's irresponsible of you not to refinance those properties and lock in fixed rate long-term debt, i.e. 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Lock it in. There are so many value add opportunities out there right now. I've always been the kind of person that said, I don't want any debt, no car loan, no house loan. At this point in time, because of the currency debasement that we are seeing, again, it's irresponsible. I feel irresponsible knowing what I know, and this is part of what I want to impart upon you, the take out long-term fixed rate debt. You are going to be locking in uh, a depreciating currency, essentially, and you can pay back that currency or that debt with the same dollar. So let me give you an example. Let's say you buy a Snickers bar today that costs a dollar. Or you, you, know, you pick up that dollar, you find a dollar, you could buy a Snickers bar, or you could pay off your mortgage. Let's say you do neither. Five years from now, that Snickers bar is probably gonna be $1.50 or $2. You can only buy half a Snickers bar. You can still pay off that same dollar on your mortgage. So extend the payments out as long as you can and find other opportunities to invest in. And that's why real estate is a great hedge against inflation because you can lock in on any property your biggest expense. Your mortgage is gonna be your biggest cost of owning that property over the long term. Other expenses will go up incrementally <clears throat> with inflation potentially as well. But your rents will go up with inflation. Your expenses will be locked in. Your biggest expense will be locked in. So if you look at it like this, rents going here, expense, biggest expense going here. So this becomes your, your cash flow increasing over time. So I, as an investor right now, am less concerned about cash flow right now. It's very hard to cash flow because we've seen property prices increasing so much. We ideally want to target that 1% rule as an investor, which means that let's say you could buy a property that is $250,000 to buy and it would rent out for $2,500 a month. That's the 1% rule. Right now, it's going to be very difficult to find that. You may go into other markets where you can find close to that. I live in Miami, not even going to find anything close to the 1% rule. Other markets where I think demographically we're going to see population shifts over time, those would be things that you may want to consider. Where are people moving? Uh, you know, would you want to buy out west right now necessarily where you have drought and persistent drought and wildfire conditions going forward? That's not getting better. Riparian rights are going to be a major issue. They already are. And so look to areas of the country where you can see population movement, where you have growth, where you have water uh, and, and things of that nature, right? So I think tax advantages from a real estate perspective also are super interesting. So when you own a property you, and you lock in a mortgage, you have somebody else paying your, your principal pay down, right? So the principal is going down while hopefully the property price is going up. So again, cash on cash is not the most important thing. It's owning this property for the long term. The same way that I'm never intending to sell any Bitcoin, I'm buying property and never intending to sell these properties. Why? Because I can cash out refi and there's no tax implication for that. As the principal gets paid down on the mortgage or as the property appreciates or both happen, you can pull money out over and over and over again without paying taxes. If you do sell and it's an investment property, you can take advantage of the 1031 exchange in the tax code and also pay no taxes. So again, investing in real estate allows you to basically pull money out whether you sell or whether you cash out refi and pay no taxes. We already talked about appreciation. We talked about pay down of principal. And you also have, there, have other offsets as well, depreciation. Appreciation is the property's increase in value. Depreciation is a tax advantage, essentially. And so you can take the value of the improved property and depreciate it over time. Uh, there's cost segregation, there's different things, but just focus on depreciation allows you to, to reduce your tax liability. So you may have a property that you're cash flowing on, but from a tax perspective, you're actually showing a tax loss because of depreciation. That's a beautiful thing. That's how some of the richest people in this country uh, do not pay taxes. We've all heard of these stories, right? And then also you can offset your up to $10,000 of property, um, uh, property taxes per year and $750,000 per year uh, or, or $750,000 in total, I should say, of the interest on the loan. So there are many reasons to own real estate right now. And the main one is if you're in cash, you don't want to go into bonds, right? Going into bonds doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, given interest rates where they are. You can leverage real estate. You can still be at a cash flow, generally plus or minus perspective, depending on what your income is. This is a get rich, slow type of approach. But if you do it consistently, you will be in a place where you have assets that are not in financially denominated uh, terms. You will have assets that are in 
or your wealth will be, will be transferred and stored into hard assets like real estate, again, Bitcoin and crypto, and those are some other examples, and there are others as well. Gold is another one, but I like real estate really for the reason that, let's say everything is traded via an NFT one day, and this is where the world is going. Well, real estate can be transferred. You can take US dollars and buy real estate. This real estate that you own and hold for five, 10, 15, 20 years, when you want to go transfer that out, chances are you will be able to transfer that out via an NFT or some other form, Bitcoin, and you won't have to go back into US dollars. What's happening to US dollars? I would really strongly uh, urge you all to read a book by Neil Ferguson that, that's a classic. It's called The Ascent of Money. Uh, we've seen fiat currency uh, and other forms of currency from seashells to salt and, and everything else you know, change over the years to come. And I really strongly believe we are in this, this beautiful and amazing time where we're seeing the shift of our financial system. It's gonna be potentially ugly in many ways, but there is gonna be light at the end of the tunnel. And if you can acquire real estate right now, there's a shortage of residential real estate that's been built since the Great, uh, the great Recession. And we may be going into another Great Recession at some point. So just be careful with your leverage. Don't over leverage. Make sure that your cash flow situation is managed appropriately. But there's so many reasons to own real estate right now. And this is almost like a public service announcement, go buy real estate.